Welcome to a sip of kosher caffeine. Guidance in our daily lives from the laws of our holy Torah with Rabbi Shlomo Azagui. Maimonides writes, it is a mitzvah to lend money to the poor of Israel. The Talmud says, the mitzvah of Gimrut Chasadim, acts of kindness which include lending money, is even greater than tzedakah charity because acts of kindness is extended both to the poor and to the rich, while tzedakah charity is only for the poor. The reason why Maimonides writes the mitzvah in the Torah to lend money is only for the poor is because although the Talmud through a process of interpretations and extrapolations from the words of the Torah includes the wealthy in this mitzvah, Maimonides already told us in his book of commandments that as far as counting biblical commandments are concerned, we cannot include conclusions deduced by the sages as commandments from God unless there is a specific tradition to do so. However, when it comes to lending to the wealthy, Maimonides in his Book of Rules trusts that it will be done by relying on the words he has already told us in his Laws of Personal Development. There Maimonides writes, it is a mitzvah to love every Jew like our own bodies, as it says, love your fellow like yourself, therefore, you must recount in his praise and have pity on his money. It is obvious that included in this mitzvah of loving your fellow like yourself would be to lend money to whomever it may be needed to borrow money. In conclusion, even though it is a mitzvah to lend to the wealthy, lending to the poor is exclusively a biblical commandment and should take precedence over lending to the wealthy. Maimonides writes, it is a mitzvah to lend money to a Jew without charge before lending money anywhere else with interest. See you next time when we brew our fresh sip of kosher caffeine.